everyone, Adam here. In this little tutorial, I'm going to go over connecting your admin chess instance to a MongoDB Atlas database. So let's get it going with initializing a yarn project. I'm going to name it Mongo-test. Not going to need a version, not a description. However, going to need a, an entry point. And in my case, it's going to be index.ts. I'm going to be the author and the license is going to be MIT. Now let's move on to the dev dependencies. And we're going to need TS node, TS lib, we're going to need TypeScript and some types for Express. Okay, now on to the, the other dependencies. Obviously, we're going to need admin.js. We're going to need an express adapter. We are going to need Mongus adapter as well, as well as Mongus and Express. We are going to need .env because we're going to use environment variables and a couple of other things for Express. Okay, with the dependency installed, now let's create our entry point. We're gonna set up the port. You can easily put that in the environment, environment variables. We're gonna need to register an adapter. And we're gonna need to create our app. We are going to need to facilitate a connection to the database. Now on to our admin JS instance. I'm going to leave some space for a resource that we're going to add just in a minute. However, now we're going to move on to the router. We need a simple router, not an authenticated one. So we don't really need that. And now we are going to add some feedback on whether the app started or not. And we are going to add the path it is actually living at. Okay, perfect. With all that set up, uh, the last thing is just to actually call the function. And we're going to add our model. So we're going to need to import the model and the schema from Mongus. This is going to be really simple model, just a proof of concept, really. Now we're going to need 
need our schema. Let's make sure this is a required. And same thing for the age. Okay. Well, let's create our model. Pass our schema. Perfect. Now we can add it to our resource. Make sure it imports correctly. Perfect. Now let's create an environment variable file dot env. I'm gonna add our variable called mongo underscore URL. And let's get a connection string. I'm going to build a three tier database. I'm going to name it Mongo video. I'm going to need, I'm going to need a user. Let's generate a password. Let's paste the password here. And let's get a connection string. Connect your application, copy this, paste it here, take our password, and replace this with our password. Let's make sure we've added a script to run the app. Name this that and ts node index.ts. Now yarn run dev should open up the should start the application. It looks like it's running. Let's see if it works. Okay, let's create our person. I'm actually 28. And it looks like the record has been persisted. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.